Fred, it's I, a matter I, of uh, Fred. We gotta. I gotta move okay. on because Can I gotta let you say what, what you think of uh, the news on national public radio. Uh, I think radio, uh, uh, NPR, is, is some shows are really interesting. Some shows, you know, bore me to tears. Uh, some shows have that crazy NPR, you know, the Sequoia <laughs> is a majestic, you know, uh, and I, it has that rhythm of like, uh, we feel life more than you, and that always makes me crazy. Uh, but then, like, uh, I'll listen to Brian Lehrer and go, wow, I, lo I love this guy and I love this show. Um, so I think it has like everything. It's like, what do you think of TV? Uh, I think Seinfeld's great. I think the, you know, according to Jim, blows. It's, <laughs> it's all, it's, it's, TV's just a box, you know, and NPR is whatever you fill it with. And some of it's great and some of it's, you know, guys talking about. Last question, because you have to get out. We promise everyone to get out by 9.30. So if the Letterman Yes, people... I am very busy. <laughs> I have, uh, I'm going to walk to Starbucks. <laughs> well, Fred can continue the debate with you on the way. If, if they come to you at CBS and say, you'd be a natural to replace Letterman. Who talks like that anymore? <laughs> Kid, you're a natural. <laughs> You've got something called Zazz. <laughs> I love it! Um, if they came to me and said, you're, you're, you, you should replace Letterman? At some point, when he steps down. And what's your question? Would you like to be, would you like to have Wait, I'm still show? dreaming. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'll have a house filled with Porsches. Uh, would I like to do that? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I don't, you know, one of my, I think, strengths and one of my weaknesses is the inability to look past the next day. And... I just don't think like that. And I, I've been in the business long enough to know that you can't plan for anything. And w would that venue, is it flattering to think about a larger venue? Absolutely. But I've also learned that uh, the quality of what you do is not diminished by how far you are up on the dial. And it's all, again, it's all just airtime. And whether you have to go past uh, Spanish people playing soccer in a naked talk show to find us doesn't mean that the product is any less uh, uh, is any less good and and being further up on the dial doesn't mean it's better and it doesn't mean it's more important and it doesn't mean it's it's more fun to do I work with people I care about uh, I very much enjoy working with them I think they're talented but more importantly I think they're decent and and uh, reasonable and that to me means everything before we conclude a word from a sponsor um, Alex Rubin managing director of UBS Thanks very much, and uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. I just wanted to extend a special thanks to our participants, John and Ken. Great job this morning. And wanted just to uh, <laughs> conclude with one observation that actually uh, pleasantly startled me the other day. I was on our fixed income trading floor, and on the back of one of our government bond traders' chairs, was a campaign sticker that said, McCain Stewart 08. <laughs> thanks, everybody. John, thank you. Thank you. Nobody stared at everybody. It was just it was hilarious. I figured that's what they need, a little uh, wake up.